to the latest on the case involving abortion, Dr. Kermit Gosnell. Now, we've learned even though he says he doesn't have any money, he will have to pay for his own attorney. 17 properties, including a beach home, though. And we also have a follow-up on the state hearing that took place yesterday in Harrisburg, where lawmakers are trying to get to the bottom of what happened in this case. D.A. Uh, Seth Williams is with us now. You Good were morning. in Harrisburg yesterday, huh? I was in Harrisburg yesterday. Okay. Now, Dr. Gosnell is going to be uh, for his preliminary hearing this morning. Correct. Does he have the attorney or not? Do you know? Last we heard, he hadn't hired an attorney. Hmm. Last week, he was demanding that a public defender be yeah. given to him. And uh, the truth is, the public defenders do a great job representing people in death penalty cases or homicide cases. Mm -hmm. But you have to be indigent. Mm -hmm. This man was making about $1.8 million a year in cash off of his illegal abortion clinic. Yeah. Uh, and all the illegal narcotics he was selling. Yeah. He has money, as you said. He has 17 properties. properties. He's got money. So he if he has to spend it. So if he doesn't um, find one, then one will, I guess, be appointed to him, and then he'll just have to pay for it? Is That's, that how that works? So you have the, oh, right, right? To you have the right to yeah. represent yourself. You have the right to a public defender if you're indigent or for the court to appoint an attorney for you. If you're rich and you don't want an attorney, the judge can either hold him in contempt. Okay. Oh. She can also uh, order an attorney to represent him and then bill him. He'll be forced to pay. Huh. Okay. So are there attorneys standing by in the courtroom? And they just appoint it right then, or would that take another few process. days? It would take a process. You would have to uh, select someone, Boy, and they have to come up to speed to be, be interesting. Ready to defend now, as far, and as far as those hearings in Harrisburg, sometimes, and I mentioned this yesterday, when you hear hearing, sure. people think, oh, it's just a, a big show, you know, where people talk. come up and talk, and what's really going to get accomplished. What were your thoughts? What did you take away from it yesterday? Well, I was very uh, glad, because my job is to give voice to the voiceless, those, the dead babies, and the grand jurors who wrote the 270 page report. Okay. And about one third of the report uh, critiqued the State Department of Health and the State Department of State. Those are the boards that have oversight over doctors and health clinics. And they didn't know what was worse, the horrific and barbaric treatment of Dr. Gosnell's patients mm -hmm. at his hands or the callous, uncaring oversight mm -hmm. that allowed this clinic to go on, not being uh, inspected since 1993, yeah. after voluminous reports, people after people making complaints about this, but no one Gave a now, mind. I've heard attorneys are getting in the way. So are you guys going to be able to get to the truth, or are we going to have to get to, you know subpoena somebody to get the information? I mean, are people talking and being truthful? Well, it's clear that there was no oversight. It was clear that people didn't do their job. Mm. We don't really need more laws. I mean, some could be helpful, but they didn't apply the standards that are requisite and are necessary now. Yeah. Mm. It was a filthy, uh, disgusting uh, facility. He's had about 46 medical malpractice lawsuits. Yeah. Uh, we go on and on and on. People knew. The current health commissioner of Philadelphia, he even hand-delivered a letter to the State Department of Health, and no one did anything. Don't think about it. And again, here's the grand jury report. It's shocking. It, it, you can barely read the darn thing. Let's get to the couple other cases, though. Sure. And we're talking about this implant, well, silicone injections being done at the Hampton Hotel there by the airport. What are you yeah. hearing about this? Well, I mean, I think Steve made a great point earlier. You don't go to a dry cleaner to get your tooth filled, no. right? People have to be used with common sense, but it's a shame that women, as a result of our culture and, uh, you know, it feels like they have to do something yeah. like this. Exactly, but it's a shame. Um, uh, but it's possible that criminal charges uh, could come of this as a result sure. of, you know, people putting themselves out as doctors, performing illegal surgeries. Uh, um, so, I mean, that's yeah. just a tragedy. Can we get an update on what happened over at uh, 8th and Spring Garden the other day? That woman beaten to death. And Outside I, of traffic court. Yeah, it was. Took in broad afternoon. daylight, these men, you know, and it's interesting that other people saw it happening, and they're, you know, these guys beating on this girl, but they didn't know what to do. They said it happened so fast. I mean, do you intervene? I mean, there's so many Are questions. you still looking for three? We are. It's an open investigation, but the fact is about one out of every four um, a women experience domestic violence in their mm -hmm. life. So we have to do, my, I'm a father of three, I'm the DA, we have to do all that we can so that people don't abuse people that they profess to love, that people that are in abusive relationships know that they can report it. Mm -hmm. You can call Women Against Abuse, you can call 911, call the district attorney's office. There are a lot of organizations, there's Creso de Latinos Unidos, there's yeah. all types of organizations mm -hmm. that provide services to men and women. But no. are you getting any indication that it was more than just domestic I mean, to have four guys go after a woman like this. In broad daylight outside a traffic yeah. court. I mean, I... And you is there something else though. going on? We have to help our neighbors. When you see something, 
you know, do something. What do you do? I, you know, you think, oh, well, they're going to turn on me. We, you know, we were talking about on camera. You're thinking, okay, you see these guys. Do you think, are they just going to hit you? I mean, I understand how these people just kind of, they froze. But it's because of the inaction of so many people yeah. that people do things yeah. and know or feel yeah. emboldened enough that they think they can get away with it. Yeah. Okay. Crazy Seth, cases. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. For Thanks for coming in. in.